All right, welcome to life. And in this video, we are going to do some chain rules only, so no simplifications. One time, all right, chain rule one time. And we will do some with interface function, so here we go. So the first one we have inverse sine of square root of x. Firstly, you can just differentiate inverse sine, and that will give us 1 over square root of 1 minus whatever this is. You can just imagine that this is like a box, yeah? Whatever the box is and square that. So you have the square root of x in here and you square that. So that's the first step. Then, because of the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. And that's it. As I said, this is just like the previous video. We will focus on the chain rule only. And then later on, we'll focus on how to simplify the algebra later. Next one, we have the square root of sine x plus cosine x. So in this case, we have a square root of a box. Just think about it like this. So we differentiate the square root first, and that will give us 1 over 2 square root of the box. So just write down inside, we have sine x plus cosine x. Then use the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of the inside. And it has two terms, so make sure we open the parentheses. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. And what's the derivative of cosine x? Negative sine x. So minus sine x. Then that's it. Again, just chain rule one time. That's it. And just relax, especially if this is the first time that you are doing calculus. Next, we have natural log of secant x. So it's the natural log of a box. So what's the derivative of natural log of a box? It's 1 over a box, right? So we first have 1 over that, which is secant x. And then we multiply by the derivative of the box. The derivative of secant x is secant x. It first repeats, and then you multiply by its best friend, which is tangent x. Hmm? Just like that. Of course, we can cancel the secant x, secant x. And I will leave that to you. For this, we're just focusing on the chain rule. Number four, cosine of ln x. So cosine is on the outside and ln x is inside the box. So we differentiate cosine x first, and that's negative sine, yeah? And then you just maintain whatever in the box inside here. Then use the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of that, which is 1 over x. That's it. Number five, inverse tangent. Here we have inverse tangent of a box. So what's the derivative of the inverse tangent? One over one plus the box square. So we will have one over one plus the box, which is two x plus one. And we square that. Then use the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of the box. The derivative of the two x is just two, right? This is going to give us zero, so it's just a two. That's it for that. Lastly, differentiating inverse tangent in the parentheses and then raised to a third power. So the big picture is we have a box to the third power, differentiate box to a third power, we get three box squared. So that's the first part. Three box, which is inverse tangent inside, and then squared. After that, use the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of the inside, the derivative of the box, the derivative of that is, 1 over 1 plus x squared. That's it. That's it. And hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful, especially if you are doing calculus, you are doing derivative for the first time. That's it.